orbital debris right now is a growing concern for everybody. What goes up must come down. And we have a design that is scalable for all size spacecraft, whether it's large or CubeSat. So we can bring down any spacecraft with this technology. This is an opportunity to help minimize and mitigate the future of space. The dragnet affects the Air Force missions in that it allows them to deorbit their spacecraft, making room for other spacecraft to fly without collision. So we, we need to make sure that our space is clear for other spacecrafts to go up, especially our military and Air Force missions. If there's too much up there, we're going to have issues. We came up with this technology because we saw solicitation need from the Air Force SBIR. And we put our heads together and came up with several ideas. And our dragnet was the one that stood out and we felt that it was the most feasible. The dragnet hardware is launched with the spacecraft. At the end of life, it is deployed from basically the size of a shoebox up to a 14 square meter area. The functionality of dragnet is to deorbit the spacecraft, in other words, bring it back down to Earth at a faster time period than it normally would through the natural deceleration on orbit. Normally that process could take 25 years or more. With Dragnet we can reduce that to less than two years, usually a 10 to 40 times reduction in order to reduce the amount of space debris that we have on orbit and make space flight easier and safer for both Air Force mission and manned space flight. The need for the technology really comes out of the number of objects that we currently have on orbit. It's upwards of 11,000 objects that we have to track. Space is becoming more congested, and we need to remove as much debris as possible so that we can keep space safe for those who want to use it. The work with MMA was primarily through the SBIR program, which we use extensively in order to accelerate the transition of hardware to Air Force systems and to the warfighter. The coolest thing is that we get to play with innovation. You know, we get to create and um, be part of something that's bigger than most people realize. I mean, space is huge and it's an exciting place to be right now. They're launching hundreds of CubeSats at a time and that's a concern. So we really need to put our attention on this and we feel like, you know, we have got a solution and it's all benefited from Air Force SBIR.